Hey guys, I thought I'd make an attempt at a deck tech and show off my white black warrior deck. It's a 60 card deck drawing from 2015 Fate Reforged and Cards of Tarkir. Now when Dragons is released, well there's definitely going to be a few swap outs, but for now I thought I'd just show what I've got. So we've got our land and that's around about 24. It, it kind of fluctuates, I don't so much use a sideboard as I do just like swap a card out here and there depending on you know, how it goes. Anyway, so we've got four harsh sustenance which it it's um it's very useful in the sense that it gets you life as well as possibly killing your opponent or damaging one of the really big creatures and it's instant speed too. Um and if you've got lots of little cheap guys out in the field, the damage you can do is definitely going to be high because we'll just skim over. We've got Chief of the Edge, Chief of the Scale to give bonuses to warriors. Now notice that they're quite cheap. We've got Take Up Arms to get three 1-1 one, one white warrior tokens, which will gain a bonus from these guys. We've got two Dragon Scale Generals. Notice Human Warrior. At the beginning of your end step, bolster X, where X is the number of tapped creatures you control. Now, isn't that handy if you've just attacked? We've got the Token Cat. Well, Oroko Swift Claw. It's a 3 1 for 2. Uh, it can deal with your morph creatures and your manifest, so it's a fair trade, but mid game with Chief of the Edge. Chief of the scale. Fantastic. Moving along. Mardu Strike Leader. He's got dash. You definitely want to use this guy uh, with its dash cost just to mix things up. But whenever Mardu Strike Leader attacks, put a 2 1 Black Warrior creature token onto the battlefield. And notice that? Another Warrior token. And this time it's a 2 1, and it's black. That's fine though. Uh, the real the real uh, carry of this deck is Avon Skirmisher. It's a 1. 1 white mana. It's a 1 1. But it is flying. And with these guys, say all four of those out, are out, and these three, it's. Well, it's a 5 4. With flying. And it only costs you 1. That is fantastic. The life gain in this deck is quite low other than harsh sustenance. There is radiant, three radiant fountains. Brave the sands to give your creatures vigilance. Uh, one of my personal favorite spectra ward, which you can use to protect something big or just something you want to keep around. Uh, Mardu hate blade. I was thinking of throwing in typhoid rats instead, but it's a warrior, so having to pay one black mana to get death touch is no big deal. Uh, sorry about the lighting change, it's getting dark here. And everything's in shiny sleeves. Uh, moving right along. Uh, late game emergency card in Garrick's Wake destroys, it pretty much destroys everything, well, creatures and planeswalkers that you don't control. Late game emergency board wipe. Speaking of emergency, we've got Resolute Archangel. Uh, flying, 4-4, four, four, 5 colorless, 2 white. Uh, pretty much when she comes in, she restores your life to its original total. Now that is definitely a game changer, in my opinion anyway. They come in handy so much. Most of my decks this year have had at least, at least one, sometimes two. There is a big backup plan in this deck, but we'll get to that in a moment. We've got Feet of Resistance. It's an instant speed. You get a 1-1 one, one counter on a target creature, which can make something, you know, a little bit bigger, which is fantastic. And you get protection from the colour of your choice until the end of turn. You can chump block with something. You can do whatever you want, really. It's up to you. Uh, Citadel Siege. you got two choices. 
uh, Khans, at the beginning of combat on your turn, put two 1-1 one -one counters on target creature you control. That in itself is definitely handy. That's kind of why it's there. Uh, you get that on, on turn 4 or 5, you should be set. The emergency one I mentioned earlier is Seraph of the Masses. There's two of them. This is your late game flying, ass kicking creature. Uh, yeah, if you've got all of these guys, well, a good chunk of these guys out, you should be looking at, if you're lucky, maybe turn. If, you get, if it gets that bad that you're on turn 8 or 9, you should have at least a 7-7 seven, seven flyer there. At least. I've, uh, uh, Battle Brawler. Notice, another warrior. As long as you control the red or white, which I'm pretty sure you will. Battle Brawler gets plus 1, plus 0, and has first strike. That's great. Uh, yeah. Alright, you got... Mardu Shadow Spear, there's two of them. Whenever Mardu Shadow Spear attacks, each opponent loses one life. I think that's great. You attack, you possibly do damage, you may not. This is a great thing to get out, you know, turn one, turn two. Even better with these guys. Pretty much these guys are what you want to get out. Uh, Aisha's... Alicia? Yeah, whatever her name is, the, the red chick. Um, Alicia's Vanguard. It's an orc warrior. It's a four cost, but I thought the dash could definitely be useful. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Respectable, in my opinion, considering what I'm drawing from. The, the three sets. Def <coughs> definitely going to possibly be switched out for something else. Blood-soaked champion. He can't block. So that's not ideal. But he's a 2-1 one for 1. And, well... He can come back from the graveyard with his raid ability, which costs 2. Return Bloodstock Champion from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate this ability only if you attacked with a creature this turn. He's kind of there just to be annoying. That's... That's all he's there for. Um... Pretty sure that's... Oh, last one. Devouring Light. Exile target attacking or blocking creature. And it has Convoke. It's there just in case. Um, oh, Sage. Oh, I'm terrible at this. You can tell I've never done it before. Uh, this guy, whose name I can't pronounce. Um, he has Vigilance, which is handy. And he can move 1-1 one, one counters. Now, that's fantastic because you can take counters with this. You get counters with this card and you can move them around. And of course, uh, abilities are instant speed. You can do that just to be a pain in the ass. But notice it says move a counter. Still, you can have fun with that one. Sage Eye Harrier. It's a 1 5 for 5. He's flying, but he is there for defense. Um, yeah, just there for defense. Um, but, becomes incredibly useful with these guys. As long as you've got these guys, you are fine. You know, I'm pretty sure that's it for my White Black Warrior deck. Until I make changes when Dragons of Dark Hair comes out. Taking into account that I'm only drafting from 2015, Khans, and Fate Reforged, if you've got any import or ideas, I would love to hear about it. Just be respectful in the comments, because some people do get easily offended. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit... I will get better at this. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it.